in this uh, section we are gonna find out about Dada or Dadaism, which is another art movement which originated in um, uh, territory of, of uh, Switzerland. So, first of all, let us find out what the word Dada means. And there are uh, a lot of interpretations on that account uh, and none of them is true because uh, uh, probably this word just doesn't have meaning because Dada is loved absurd and uh, things without meaning so but there are we can trace back few uh, uh, explanations uh, what uh, this word Dada means so it's from uh, Romanian language because there were a couple of artists from Romanian heritage and they would uh, commonly say Dada which means yes in Romanian and so rumors have it that uh, from this Dada occurred uh, from French uh, language is another version uh, this is how the stick with horse head is called and uh, uh, it's like child stick with the horse and uh, meaning you have Dada you have go hobby uh, and uh, also just a simple crying of the talking of the baby you know uh, so uh, when we talk about uh, Dada uh, this is uh, as I told you that the Dism this is uh, one of the most influential art movements in, of the beginning of the 20th century. Oh, sorry, it was um, uh, oh, it occurred in uh, Zurich in Switzerland, uh, and uh, in the 1916. Uh, later, it, it went to another country too, but the beginnings are in Zurich. And uh, also what we have to know that really important to the appearance of Dada was uh, a cabaret, uh, uh, nightclub cabaret, cabaret Voltaire, uh, which uh, was the place where uh, artists would met uh, Tristan Saraj, Anne Arp, Marcel Janko, uh, Hans Richter and the others, they would discuss about art and uh, this uh, movement has uh, is born as anti-art and uh, because it's uh, up and absurdity because you know it was happening during second world war and uh, artists were tired of seeing the war happening <coughs> so when we think about dadaism uh, we have to know that it was new uh, word in contemporary art of those days because they were born as a reaction to this absurd they could see and uh, so even though they uh, had taken up the co uh, contemporary techniques of that time uh, from abstract expressionism and so on but uh, they chose to depict really absurd uh, non-understandable strange topics and the most importantly they had started to really much uh, experiment and to try to work with uh, a new techniques or unusual techniques like performances or collage, uh, photo montage, and so on. Uh, so, uh, 
uh, there are plain variety of techniques uh, we can talk about when we talk uh, about data because uh, 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 if you think uh, about Dada and what its influences uh, on that culture is, and if you think uh, why the hell should they do these absurd performances and absurd misunderstanding uh, uh, art pieces and so on, you must understand the time when it was created, because the war was coming to the Europe or the war was going on and the Dadaists saw that their culture unfortunately had not produced anything good and they understood that uh, they saw this bourgeois society all around them with their bourgeois values which actually didn't function well and didn't produce anything and so uh, they realize that the only way to cope with it and with traditional culture is to demolish it, to change it. And that they saw how this uh, world around them had created this absurdity where they actually live. And uh, this uh, ugly uh, situation of war and uh, one being more powerful than uh, the other and so on and uh, so uh, they realized that they have to change this and they have to do something against it and uh, they of course as uh, all the movements we talk about created a manifesto of course and uh, like this was really a fashion of those days <coughs> and by the way you have to understand why it started in Switzerland because at those times in the First World War Switzerland had neutrality and the war was not happening there and so many artists from abroad came to Switzerland uh, well normally it's a traditional uh, classical country with pla uh, classical conservative values and so to have so many unusual avant-garde artists it was really uh, something uh, not really typical there and uh, what you have to know also which, which is very important that after Zurich Dada went to other countries and to other cities like uh, uh, for example in Berlin but there were also in other countries like Italy, Yugoslavia, Russia and so on and as I told you it was not only in visual art but also in uh, poetry and music and sound and performances especially they like performances but what we have to also remember talking about Dada that they created or they first started to use certain art forms which you will find out as really uh, typical and unusual for those days and are still used today. One of them is for example collage where you take on the piece of paper you collect artwork from bits of other already produced papers, uh, newspapers, other artworks, or just uh, you paint some parts. And uh, also photomontage was very important uh, technique which was developed when you take a lot of uh, uh, photographies and create your own montage. Assemblage was uh, very uh, typical form for uh, Dada uh, because uh, it's similar like collage, you take pieces of other artworks but it's three-dimensional uh, and so you take not only books, pieces of posters or something but you also take objects, dolls especially, other things and you create kind of sculptures out of that 
uh, we can both be round or we can also be like uh, more like painting other very important thing that you should know created by uh, artists of that time was ready-made and uh, one of the most famous creator was uh, Marcel Duchamp and ready-mades are the artworks which are uh, just simple manufactured objects chosen to be as artwork uh, those you can just take an object and sign it and make art piece out of it but <laughs> you can also uh, place things uh, co combine a couple of things or three of things uh, and uh, the, this way creating uh, uh, Dada artwork which is called ready made so these are the most important uh, theory you should know about Dada also take a look at the uh, paintings and not only painting sculptures assemblages and collages of the most important uh, artists and see you later